So today I am going to test this DEI Design Engineering Reflect the Gold wrap that I bought for my homemade air to water intercooler. This is part number 010392 final focus piece of shit. Anyway, it's a uh, about $13 a square foot, so I'm going to see if it's uh, worth anything. My test setup is going to be two pieces of aluminum. One side painted to be able to measure temperature. The bottom side is going to be bare, and that's I'm going to put the material on one side. I have a thermocouple measuring radiant heat from hot plate. This might be the worst focusing camera ever. Then I'll have a thermocouple monitoring that and let's take a look at the tape. All right, here's some pieces that I have already taken off. These are cuttings from the, what I used. It is very thin. It looks like it's got fiberglass woven into it and the, and the adhesive is very good just, it's actually sort of hard to get off so I'm going to cut some of that and put it onto there and maybe someday I will have a camera that focuses wrapped up piece of aluminum in our control and I'm going to be mounting them on these clamps and be right back all right about ready to start here's the setup the thermocouples in between two pieces of aluminum thermocouples rating 79.3 something interesting is that one of the plates is a little bit different temperature than the other it's actually warmer so let's see what happens when we crank up the hot I don't have any fans running in this room right now The hot plates start to heat up. Still nothing on the thermocouple. Starting to get something on the thermocouple finally. With the reading on the infrared for the hot plate won't be accurate because it is a reflective white surface and you need to have the emissivity set up correctly in order to get an accurate temperature reading. This is why I painted the back of the aluminum plates with high temp engine paint and then baked them in the oven at 200 degrees for a half hour to set the paint. A couple is at 
89 and rising. Hot plates at 300 ish. Left plate's at 85, right plate's at 81. To be fair, there is more surface area on the right plate to radiate off heat, but there's also more surface area facing the heater, so it might not make a difference. The thermocouple is at 95 degrees. Okay. 400 off of the hot plate there. Hmm. Thinking maybe I'll shut off this uh, overhead light so I don't get reflections in the IR. Thermocouple in the center is at 115 degrees right now. Hundred and twenty degrees at the thermocouple. The coated plate, which is on the left, is at hundred and eight right now. And the uncoated plate is at ninety-two. And the hot plate is off the scale now. Pump holding center is reading 126 degrees. Maybe if I change the scale to get the hot plate out of the temperature scale. We will see the temperature gradient between the two plates. Okay, I mean, te temperature is 80 degrees, so this will make everything dark. Focus, you pile of crap. There we go. Thermocouple is reading 140 degrees. You can probably barely see that now. 140 degrees, 139.6. And our plates. It's hard to line up two cameras. So, 125 on the coated plate. 97 on the uncoated plate. Okay, verifying it with my fingers, that is a very believable temperature differential. I could feel it in my fingers that the left plate is hotter.
And so you think I'm, don't think I'm cheating. There's the plates. Bear on the right. DEI coded on the left. I don't know, maybe it's better for retaining heat, but... Thirty-six versus one hundred two. Thermocouples reading one hundred sixty-five and rising. That would be the tip of it. Let's see. All right. Emissivity would be incorrect for this side, but how are we? Twenty four and ninety. Keep in mind emissivity will be wrong for this side because there are two different reflective surfaces. One this side's got the gold tape on it, and I don't know the value of that. And this is probably reflecting the table at that temperature. Ninety one degrees. And you go up to the top, it's at hundred and eight. And this is still climbing 150. Question is, hold my hand on that one. That one's, uh, yeah, there's definitely a temperature difference there. So, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but this doesn't seem to work very well. <laughs> 